before you buy any conference ticket, any big event ticket to attend any business conference, make sure you watch this video. Why? I want you to avoid some of the mistakes I did. What's cracking, everybody? My name's Smart Guy, Matt Zipali here. Helium to you from the Vault Conference here at the Palm Beach Convention Center. We spent the last three and a half days here with Patrick Van David, my personal mentor at PHP and see as he's growing the next evolution of his business after acquisition a couple years ago. He's now expanding and growing the vault. I was at the first vault in 2019. It's probably 400 people that first vault in Dallas, Texas. Fast forward five years, five year anniversary, 6,000 plus people here at the vault conference. So we've grown, I've seen him grow, I've seen him grow PHP. So here's why we invest heavily in attending conferences. Okay, let me break it down. There's three phases when coming to conferences. Number one is starting out. Number two is your growth phase. Number three is advanced strategies. Let me start with number one, starting out. When you're starting out, it's very, very important for you to attend conferences. Why? There's the opportunity for you to get exposure. For example, the gentleman filming this right now, I'd never known before the conference, but Ponder came up to me and said, Matt, can I help you shoot content? Because I was about to do selfie style videos. He goes, Matt, let me use your mic. Let me use my equipment so therefore you can create better content. And guess what he's doing right now? Because of this, he's getting exposure because he's lending and helping hand to help me create content instead of me trying to do all things by myself. He stepped up, become a team player, became a contributor to the Vault Conference, contributed to myself, and now I'm giving him a shout out. He's got a podcast in Las Vegas. He's from France. And I'm much love to this guy shooting a video for me. So number one, you want exposure, which leads Leads me to number two, early networking. Guess what everybody's doing right now? Shaking hands, exchanging information, exchanging ideas, asking each other what the biggest takeaway were, what your leaks, what your opportunities in your business. Early networking, getting to know other businesses in relative industries at the same relative stage that many people are at, especially when you're starting out. There's three different groups here at the conference. There's people in the back, they were the general audience, then you're your founders, your platinum, and your CEO phase. Obviously, you just get in the door, it's $1,000. CEO tickets in the front, $15,000 per ticket sitting in the front row. Obviously, if you're starting out, very difficult to afford $15,000, unless, of course, you've got a mature business. But for most people starting out, just get in the room, invest in yourself, grow, find out how you're working not only in the business, but also working on the business. I'll give you an example. There's two different levels that many people are at. They find themselves either in profit, they're in profit mode, and when you're in profit mode, guess what you need? You need skill sets, you need ideas, you need opportunities, you need relationships. So therefore your business, turns a profit. And then long term, I'll talk about here later on in terms of value and what that means too as well in the growth phase. Which leads me to number three. A lot of people first starting out, you're gonna need a lot of inspiration, motivation, whatever you wanna call it, externally, internally. Being an entrepreneur at times, it's a very lonely world. You find yourself at times, the excitement of starting your own business, the excitement of creating your own first hires and first apartments in your company, guess what? You're all alone. Who's hearing me out? Who's going through the same struggles I am? When you're first starting a business, guess what you're gonna need? You're gonna need a lot of inspiration and motivation so therefore you can start strengthening your entrepreneurial muscle. And coming to conferences will help you obtain that inspiration and motivation. Which leads me to number four, skills development. As a beginning entrepreneur, invest in yourself in coming to conferences, guess what you're going to either see or obtain. You're gonna see the skill sets that you need to acquire so therefore you can become a better entrepreneur. Or if you have current skills says right now what you need to develop and what you need to get deeper in. So that way you can become a profitable entrepreneur, especially when you're first starting out. So therefore your confidence is a lot higher. One that attains a lot of skills, gets a lot of confidence, gets a lot of belief, starts creating more results, rinse, repeat. And the second phase of you coming to conferences, before you invest in any conference, make sure you go there. If you're in the growth phase, make sure there to use the conference to benchmark your progress. For example, if you're in a conference last year, use that whatever conference you go to. My suggestion is the vault. But if you are going to a conference, or any conference you go to that has a conference every year, take what your progress level was, except for example, in August of 2024, for example. And then you go to the next conference of the next year, or the following year, and benchmark your success from the things you learned from the initial conference. Have you gone 10%? Have you gone 20%? Have you gone 50%? Have you acquired new skills? Have you established new relationships? Whatever those benchmarks, whatever you're focusing on, make sure you benchmark it. So therefore, you can look back on the 12 months of work experience and, and growth and say, hey, listen, man, I've gone somewhere, or I've not done anything, or I've lost. But use that conference as a benchmark to be a mirror for exactly how you've been implementing the information from the first conference you attended. We've done this year over year over year over year we start with 27 guys my first conference in 2015 fast forward to 2024 i've got over 6,000 people in my company my organization it started from 27 people to 5,000 people so it tells you there's a benchmark that i've been using my events to to grow not only my influence strengthen my team but also grow my cash flow other part about going to conferences is also staying current and up to date for example our ceo session patrick was asking what do you guys want to process what do you want to get together you saw from other entrepreneurs and other ceos and founders what the biggest issues were going on in the current situation situation of the economy, of your industry, of what the current endeavor is. A lot of people are concerned about AI. AI, AI, AI was a big theme this year. And so therefore we were able to process and stay up to speed how AI can help us in our current business. If I don't come to a conference, I don't see these things, I don't get up to speed, I don't get up to date, and my competition is light years ahead of me while I'm still trying to figure out my ABCs. By coming to conferences in the growth phase of business, you have the opportunity 
to not making any mistakes and making sure you stay current up to speed with what's going on in the economy today. Next one is position yourself as an expert. You have an opportunity to speak on stage in the next conference. You have an opportunity to share your thoughts in a case study. You have to share your thoughts in terms of any influence or whoever's the host of the event can ask, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? You, hey, boom, 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 boom. You share your thoughts, you share your two cents. You're able to position yourself as an expert in your current endeavor at the next conference you're attending. The next area of the growth phase, last but not least, is to make sure you identify your leaks and identify opportunities. One of the biggest mistakes people make when not coming to big events is they can operate the business for a year or two years or three years, never invest in themselves to work on the business, stay always in the business. And guess what they never discover? They never discover the opportunities to grow their expander business and never expose the leaks they have in the business, cost of the money, revenue, position, and market share. By coming to a big conference, say, hey, what are my leaks? I'm working on the business. Where have I identified with other people in respect of businesses and current endeavors or revenue levels? What are you doing to grow your business? What are you doing to grow business? Oh, I didn't know that. I had to pay attention to this. I didn't know I had to pay attention to HR. I didn't know I had to pay attention to uh, uh, compliance. I didn't know I had to pay attention to uh, uh, research and development. I didn't know I had to pay attention to many different categories. A lot of people that don't know, but they don't know, but they find out when they attend a conference, when they attend a big event to grow their business. So last but not least, in this category of growth, make sure you come to conferences and get the access. So therefore, you can avoid leaks that cost you money and identify opportunities that help you make money. So before we go into the third phase, let me just quickly recap. First phase, start a phase. Second phase, growth phase. Third phase of investing into yourself by attending a conference is the advanced stage. Number one, building partnerships. I'm sitting here in the CEO section. Guess what? People in the fencing business, people in the chiropractic business, people in the oil and gas business. Now they want businesses like mine to go in to talk to them about insurance, to talk to them about team and policy, to talk to them about establishing a full and K plan for the company. So I'm talking to a realtor, mortgage professional who wants to integrate insurance into their current endeavor so therefore they can grow and expand the business. These are partnerships. Why? Because now they see that you're an established business, you're a growing business, you're identifying yourself as an expert amongst your peer group, you're known. Guess what? People now want to establish these partnerships. And so an investment for you to attend conferences is to find a partnership you never knew would possibly exist. Number two, identify and working with winning mates. Many people here came with not only themselves, but they came here with their COO, they came here with their VP of sales, they came here with their sales team, they came here with their uh, operations team. They have the opportunity to bring the company here to see why, because usually at most companies, the CEO, you're the guy. And sadly, a profit is not a profit in their own land. When you take your team, your staff, your running mates to an event like this, guess what? The person on stage could probably be saying the same thing you've been saying for years. And now your team says, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. In the back of your head, you're like, yeah, I've been saying that for years. Sometimes people just need to hear the same message from a different messenger. And don't take it personally, your team don't listen to you. It's okay. Again, a profit is not a profit in our own land. It's also the law of familiarity that people should just stop listening to you and start tuning you up. So getting your team, your staff, your running mates here, gets people to see things that you've been always saying and repeating and edifying. Now people here get to see it for somebody else. They get the message because it comes from a different messenger. And last but not least, in this advanced stage, you're gonna get some exclusive insights and paradigm shifts into your business. It's been at this phase, another level, another devil. At this phase, another level, another devil. Here's what I realized too as well as you're growing. When you're at the bottom of your current level, you get to the top of that level, guess what? And now, welcome, introduce yourself to the bottom of the next level. So at the bottom of that level, you grow, 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 and guess what? Now you're at the top of that current level. Well, guess what? Introduce to now the bottom of the next level. You grow, 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 so on and so forth. That is your paradigm shift. That is your perspective. Assuming you are in growth, but assuming that you want to advance, assuming you want to not only create profit, but also value. That's what I'll share too as well. A lot of people find themselves as successful practitioners, successful people in their skill sets, but guess what a lot of people just never evolve into? They're solopreneurs, but never evolve into entrepreneurs. When you get access to the insights and perspectives and paradigm shifts, instead of just creating profit, which is short term, now you're creating value, which is long term. Now you can scale your business, and therefore you have something that you can down either sell or somebody can inherit and inherit that revenue for the rest of their lives or sell down the road. It's up to you because why? You're just not creating profit. And what, what is, what's the definition? Salespeople create profits, but as soon as they get done selling, there's no profits. In other words, there's no value. When you create value, not only do you create profits, but it starts making money without you always having to instigate and push the buttons to create profit. In other words, you got systems and processes and scale to help you understand how to make more money. So therefore your valuation of business makes money without you always having to push all the buttons. And therefore that's a saleable, scalable asset that somebody may want to acquire or somebody wants to invest in. And the last thing I'll share, my favorite scripture of encouraging one another to get together, rally together and grind and work together is this scripture here from Hebrews. Do not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see 
the day approaching. I can't tell you how many relationships have deepened, established to create this movement of entrepreneurs gathering together to make an effective change in their local communities. I can't tell you the new relationships that are established and people that never thought that this person was this person. I met somebody here who's half Filipino and half Korean. Come to find out, he's got family that's related to my family back in the Philippines. New connections are being established, new horizons are seen, and new mountains are created for you to climb by investing and in coming to conferences. This has been my experience here with the Vault Conference. Been doing this since 2019 with Patrick Bed David and the Vault Conference. Been doing this with PHB ABC since 2015. I've seen life-changing transformations happen because people invest and come into conferences on a regular basis. Life-changing moments never happen on your existing couch or your current environment. Life-changing moments always happen outside. So therefore you get perspective and appreciation and gratitude for what you accomplished and where you are about to head. That being said, if you've gotten value from this video, please make sure you subscribe. Please put your biggest takeaway from this. Put it in the comment section below. And if you would like to get a free PDF of this recaptured inside a workbook of why you should come to events, put in the comment section, world class events. World class events here in the comment section below and we'll shoot you out a link so therefore you get a free PDF of workbook for therefore you can maximize your attendance and investment in coming to the next event. That being said guys, from Paul Beach Convention Center, I'm your money smart guy. Until we meet again, continue to smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Bye -bye.